We are standing near the spot where one of the most hated men in American history was killed. This man was the man who killed Abraham Lincoln. He was killed right back here in the woods. We're gonna take you back there, try to find the exact spot, and we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. <laughs> You know the spot where we just showed you? Well, we had to come across the street. You can see our car way back over there. So they're trying to fool you. They don't really want anybody coming around here anymore. There used to be a gravel area where you could park your car over here. You can still see the remnants of it. And it's gone, so. And then they've got this chain up right here behind us. So we're gonna walk in there. We had to come across a pretty busy street to get over here. So it's not necessarily advisable. And I don't know why they're closing it off. Well, and I guess I do know why, because they don't want to glorify a criminal in the history of our country. And we aren't either. But the reality is, it is part of our history. And history is important. And we're certainly not glorifying it, that's for sure. No. But the path, there's still a little bit of a path here. As you can see right in front of us. And we're going to walk on through here. Try to get around some of the stuff. In addition to the parking area, there used to be a sign out by the road pointing into this area, which is also now gone. After that, no trespassing signs were put up here, but they are now gone as well. Eventually, we suppose this area will be completely overtaken by the woods and forgotten. It already has become very difficult to walk through. And you have to imagine, as vehicles speed by here on Highway 301, the drivers have no clue the largest manhunt in history ended right here. After being on the run for two weeks, Booth and his co-conspirator, David Harold ended up at the Garrett's farm. They were hiding in the barn. In the wee hours of the morning, authorities showed up. Harold gave himself up to authorities. However, Booth did not. He stayed inside. They lit the barn on fire and he came out. The house would have been right here where we are standing. It's in the median between the northbound and southbound lanes right here. Now the house was here. The barn would have been somewhere over there, perhaps even over the road of course they dug this out and put the road in much later on but the barn was out in that direction i guess at first he was hanging out in the house he and harold were hanging out in the house with the garrets but eventually they say you know let's send you guys out there to the tobacco barn a tip led union soldiers this is one of the biggest manhunts in the history of the country 1,000 union soldiers were looking for him there was a reward offered for his capture of one hundred thousand dollars i think about that one hundred thousand dollars back then you're talking about millions now, they really wanted to catch this guy. Obviously, he just shot what many people consider still to be the greatest president in the history of our country. The Union soldiers surrounded the building as it was burning. They were given direct orders from Washington to take Booth alive, but a soldier by the name of Boston Corbett had different plans. Corbett had been through four years of battle and spent time in one of the worst Civil War prisons. He was ready to end this thing once and for all. To make matters worse, he was a former hat maker. The phrase mad as a hatter would definitely apply to him. In the 18th and 19th centuries, hat makers would use a poison called mercury nitrate to make hats made of fur from small animals such as rabbits. This led people to having mental and physical issues. Corbett had been a hat maker for many years. In 1858, he was approached by two prostitutes. He ignored them and went on his way, but he was so bothered by the incident that he decided to castrate himself with scissors when he got home. He then had dinner, went to a prayer meeting, walked around town for a bit, then finally headed to seek medical help. Here at the Garrett barn, he could see Booth pacing around inside the burning barn through the cracks in the wood. Breaking orders, he shot Booth. He laid on the porch for about two hours until he passed away from a fatal gunshot wound wound to the neck. Yeah, the porch actually was not right over here. This would have been the back end of the house, which we're gonna show you the pipe that Heather was able to find. A little remain from the house, which is pretty cool. But the porch would have been obviously up toward the front of the house. You have to walk kind of over in this direction. This area is so badly overgrown right now, it's hard to maneuver through here anymore. I don't even know if we can, can we? I don't know. Right through here, I think. A lot of pickers, so watch out. Yeah, we gotta watch ourselves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you okay back there? You stuck? Uh-oh. Oh my goodness Well, Heather's stuck back over there, but I've made my way up here to approximately where the porch would have been. Are you free? Welcome. 
All right, somewhere in this area is where the porch would have been. This is where John Wilkes Booth body was placed. Actually, he was still alive, so John Wilkes Booth was placed. And the last two or three hours of his life were spent right here in this very spot as he passed away here. As for Corbett, he was cleared by the military and called a hero by many people for killing Booth. He went back to work as a hat maker for a while before getting a job at Kansas State House. But he threatened people there with a gun and was sent to an insane asylum where he later escaped and was never seen again. If you would like to learn more about Abraham Lincoln and the wonderful legacy that he left behind, also his assassination, we will provide a link in the comments section below. Yeah, we've got some more videos about Abe Lincoln, also about the assassination as well, and we hope you will check them out. We also invite you to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so that you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.